Kansas State University's Veterinary Health Center issued a warning Tuesday for dog owners to keep an eye out for raccoons, especially those exhibiting odd behaviors such as showing up during the daytime. The center has seen an increase in canine distemper from raccoons being brought into the center, with two to three raccoons per week being picked up by animal control officers in Manhattan. For animal control or even the public to see them in the middle of the day, uh, like in, in the afternoon, it is uh, rather unusual. And a lot of times that we, when we uh, encounter the raccoons, they are either just sitting back or someone can be aggressive or they'll just walk for a couple feet, they stumble, they fall down, and they sit right back up. And they give us what they call the thousand yard stare, like they're staring out in, into nothing. The disease, which can be transferred to dogs, also shows similar symptoms as rabies. As a result, the public shouldn't attempt to capture or handle the animals. Any raccoon acting abnormally should be reported to local authorities. So it's really important that all dogs are vaccinated against canine distemper. And um, so they need to contact their veterinarians for the frequency, but generally it begins at about six weeks of age. They're vaccinated every uh, three to four weeks after that till they're about 18 to 20 weeks old. And then there are various series that can be done after that, but there are routine vaccinations. Again, they should contact their, their veterinarian. In addition to that, people should make sure that the dogs are kept on leashes. They shouldn't be free to roam, because when they're free to roam, then they have greater contact with raccoons that are infected. For more information, contact the Veterinary Health Center at 785-532-5690. This has been Josh Rouse for the Topeka Capital Journal.